In this video, we'll be covering how to replace the barrel support, which was issued with early serial number Scout Apex. First, we'll need to make sure that the bolt handle's in the rearward position, and that's retracted our probe out of the way. Once again, you can see it pulled back, and the probe is no longer in the magazine area. Then, we'll want to go ahead and release our barrel latch, pushing down on the tab and lifting up on the ratchet. We can now go to the front of our rifle and remove the barrel. Sliding that straight out, you'll be able to set it aside and you'll notice the barrel support. Now this barrel support has two clear o-rings on the inside and is supported by two black o-rings on the outside. To remove it, we're going to reach in with our 1 8 Allen wrench down through our sight rail, breaking it loose with the square end and then finishing off removing the screw uh, by spinning it out with the long end. Now the screw does need to completely out, so what I like to do is use the square end with a little bit of sideways pressure to coax the hardware out. Once it's out, we can then stick our hand into the forward component and start to pull it out. As I mentioned before, there are two black O-rings, so this will be a friction fit. Our new component does not have any O-rings on the outside, however, it does have a very specific alignment hole. This one screw hole must be facing directly up in order for the hardware to engage. So we're going to go ahead and slide that into the body and put our hardware down through the sight rail and secure it again with that 1 8 Allen wrench. This does not need to have an extreme amount of torque, however, it should be snug. So we're going to use the square end of our Allen key to go ahead and snug it up. The next component we're going to install is the compression ring itself. It's going to go in here on the inside of this collar. The collar, the compression ring itself is a split ring. You'll notice that there is a split in it and it has two tapered edges. The location of the split is not important but we want to make sure that the tapered edges are front and back. There's really no other way to install this. The final component of the barrel lock is the nut itself. As you can see, there is a 3 16 tool face here and threads to align it with the core. Only want to do a couple of turns here because we'll be sliding our barrel in. Sliding the barrel in, the first time you go through that friction collar, you may have to wiggle it around a little bit just until it finds its position. Again, that center split ring collar just needs to find its home and the rest of the barrel will slide in. Now let's switch to a side view and you can see uh, the final installation of the barrel. We wanna make sure that the probe once again is not in the magazine area and then we're going to take a look at the bottom of the barrel. We wanna see these air ports and this lobe directly down, and we wanna make sure our latch is open before we try and engage. Sliding into the latch block and pressing back from the front, you'll notice there is a tiny gap here, a little bit of extra force, and you'll find it snapped right through. And we're going to go ahead and then make sure again that it is locked. Once it's locked, let's take another view of what we had done. This again is just looking from the magwell forward as we install that barrel. Pushing through, we want to make sure that there's no gap between the barrel and the block. And then finally, double check that our lock is as tight as it can be. Visually, we want to inspect the base of the barrel to make sure that this upper ridge does protrude and the lower ridge is flush with the breech block. If those two things are correct, we can move forward to our final step, which will be the barrel lock nut. We want to run this in until it's firm or fairly hand tight. We're not looking to crush anything, we just want to make sure it's firm. Once it's nice and firm, you're going to take that 3 16 Allen wrench insert it into that tool face and we really only want a quarter turn uh, on this lock to secure the barrel. Taking a look from the front again just insert the allen key and no more than that quarter turn to really snug it down. This revised barrel lock is a free upgrade if you don't already have one reach out to us at sales at scoutyourguns.com.